Oftentimes I would come to the keyboard and I would have to play some talk music. And one of the things that I've learned over the years is something called pivot chords. Now something that I call a pivot chord, and it's not an official name for it, but I like to think of it as such. And what I mean is that I'm pivoting from one place to another, like in basketball, or that funny episode on Friends when they had to take the um, Joey and Chandler. If you ever seen Friends, not Joey, Ross and Chandler had to take uh, the couch up the stairs. Kept saying, pivot. Pivot. So the pivot is a movement. We're changing direction, okay? So we're going from say D flat to another chord or whatever, but it isn't so much the chord progression itself, it's the feeling of what we're playing. So for example, you know, if you're coming out of a song and depending, you know, you're in church and you know, all right, where it's going and say, for some reason, you know, they just want to keep worshiping. play something like that right and your pivot chord would be your this chord here okay this uh, F sharp or G flat minor so this for example would be in the key of D flat so this is what we're playing and we're not gonna just stay here if the song was done you know we're done you know and then we just we just kind of end it and that's the end of it right but sometimes you like to keep going Say they're worshiping the pivot chord would be this F sharp or G flat uh, minor chord here over the D flat. Okay, you just play that for like a few bars and then go right back to the one. So the time of the count would be say it was a slow song, right? Two, three, four, two, all right, and just keep repeating it. And this pivot chord works because it gives a suspension, meaning that. The chord itself is not resolved. It's not resolved, but then it doesn't want to move forward. And what I mean by that is some chords, like you hear a diminished chord. Diminished chords are so tense. They're two dominant chords, basically being played together, and they tend to want to move forward. When you're playing uh, some kind of suspended chord, like you were playing, um, you know, a D flat, suspended second, these are the two notes that I just played from the pivot chord of F sharp, or G flat uh, minor, we're playing this, and it's kind of, kind of wants to move forward, but then it's kind of settled almost. So that's what we're doing, and that's the feel of the service of where you are. It wants to move forward. They may want to move forward, but then they may not want to move forward. You kind of, you know, you're kind of in limbo. So somebody may be, you know, still praying, you know, worshiping or whatever, and then you come back to the one here. You can just hang out here for a little bit, and that gives the sense on that pivot chord. All right, you're gonna pivot back to, you're gonna go here and then pivot right back. And of course the movement, the shape, is the shape that we use. We're gonna play uh, A, D flat, F sharp, G flat. All right, and go back to here, we're pivoting really on that D flat, but I don't physically mean pivot. I mean that the chord itself can either move forward, it can either move, propel us forward or propel us right back to the D flat. In this case though, you know, they're still worshiping, people, you know, they're praying and got their eyes closed, whatever. Maybe the choir, the singer's still up there. something like that but that basically is uh, the D flat melodic minor again okay so we're here and for example we wanted to just play okay we wanted to move forward okay so remember we're there to back them up so and they want to move forward all right they you may you can do several things okay you can move forward uh, and use the same thing and maybe you want to move forward and you want to pivot to something a little more, a little more attention, but not too much, but you kind of want to stay there. So meaning, instead of playing that, so say if they, they start to you know, get more riled up and people get more and more excited, you can just pivot now, that pivot chord here, because you already spelled out. You know, they don't know music. Well, if they're assuming that people, they're not musicians, it really wouldn't matter, but the ear is listening for some kind of harmony. The air is always hearing something, so but you're in that melodic minor, back to, all right, 
D flat, right? So you would pivot here, come here, and then you could do something like, all right? Or you could do this, right? Start from the one here. We could do that or this, all right? And then now this builds more tension because you're playing the five, the one over the five. So the walk up uh, would be the two for D flat. Okay, that E flat. Okay, we can do, yeah, we can do that. Uh, we can do this. We can do this too, give us some tension. All right, um, I'm gonna play everything in the left hand so you can see the basis of what I'm doing, all right? So you move forward, but the forward momentum isn't just all right. We are pushing it all the way forward and going in hard. Not necessarily, okay? So again, let's go back to the first one, all right? So the first one we do this, the song is done. And maybe there's a quiet, kind of, you know, a lot, kind of a lull. And you could do something like this. What that is, is again, the melodic minor scale. But when you do those walk downs, right, I'll show you again. All I'm doing is just going on the entire scale. And I'm gonna end on, on A flat, right? Um, or, or F, so we can do, right, we can end on the F, so whenever you're doing those walk downs, especially with the melodic minor scale, what actually tends to work is not taking, you know, you don't want to do minor seconds because they, they don't, they, it doesn't flow right, it didn't sound good, but what you can do is take your A here and this C sharp or D flat. What this is, it's the first half of A major, right? So it harmonizes nice. So this is what we would call a major third interval, okay? We have a major third here, and then we have here a minor third, okay? Another minor third, all right? Minor third. So the minor third, first, first one is a major third. So I'll show you again. So it's, okay, we can end here or, yeah, we're gonna end here with the left hand and in here with the right hand so we can do okay so basically we start here and then we end on that oh, I'm sorry on here not the C you don't want to do the C okay over the A flat now that movement there was our pivot all right it was a pivot run you can do it as fast or slow as you like so again our first pivot chord is that D sharp or, or uh, G flat major, all right, over the D flat. And then the second pivot chord we have, okay, is the, the walk up when we want to move a little bit to bring some more tension, but not too much. So, okay, so we're now we're here. We can do this. We can do, right? This is more tension now. Because what you have here, you're playing this um, suspended, all right? Suspended, like basically a sus with a flat nine here. You hear the tension there? You can build it up. Now there's a couple places you can go. So now they're all excited. Everybody is, you know, they're really, you know, really starting to go. People are worshiping, crying, and all that. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to say, all right, let's let's go somewhere. You can just chill here for a little bit. All right, and then you know come back here. So now, say they quieted down in the past and said, "All right, we got to move on," you know, with the furtherance of the service. All right, so we got to you know take the service further. So what you would want to do, all right, all right. Now that you have this classic, this is a classic move here. This D flat. Sorry about my mic. This is a classic move here. This D flat over the A flat. Okay, and that can help to propel us forward. So several things we can do. We want to move now to get out of that, you know, worship mode, right? So, so we have our classic uh, one over the five. All right, and then we can go, there's so many things we can do, but what you want to do, you want to resolve it. You don't want to just, uh, um, and, and here, and then jump, you know, you know, to the one. It's going to be weird. The one is home. Over here, all suspensions. All right, this, you have your home, but you kind of don't, you kind of do, you kind of don't. So now we're here. This is the, more, the most tension so far. 
that five chord, all right, because it wants to go somewhere, but kind of, but not really. But now you do want to go somewhere, so you're in that five chord. You come now, so say you want to, you know, all right, now we're going to move on with the service. And now you can, from that, now you have our, our um, flat nine chord, seven flat nine, and we can resolve it and go back to one, okay? But we can approach one, all right, instead of just, all right, and just kind of, I did this before, I think, in the last video. You could end like that and just move. And then once we're there now, all right, somebody comes up and they do the announcements. You just don't want to just hang out on the one chord the whole time because it's very just, we're staying here and people are going to just fall asleep. So you want to have some movement, but not too much. So again, our first pivot chord, like I said, is this F sharp, uh, G flat minor, okay? The second pivot chord would be the G flat minor, G flat minor over the E flat, so. All right, so you can play that several ways or back here and then we can do this here with the tension okay I gotta fix this mic because I keep popping into it now um, second pivot chord this and then now the third one we have this here and now to pivot out this is gonna be our third pivot chord okay this chord here is your uh, diminished chord over the five all right the four diminished one, two, three, four, for D flat, diminished, over five gives you a dominant chord with a flat nine, which would be, the nine for A flat would be B flat, and we're gonna take that here to make it a flat nine. So this is your pivot chord to go here, back, go right back home. If you wanted to, but say, you know, somebody is saying, God is worthy of praise right before they give the announcement. So instead of just, and then God's worthy of praise, you kind of sitting there like, uh, I don't know what to do next. You know, you don't want to do that. So what you want to do, maybe, maybe you do, but, um, and kind of, you know, go someplace else. But what we can do here is just go here. And this A here is your, but I'm playing the A, but I'm be careful. I'm be careful. I'm careful of what's on the top. Just be careful what you play up here because you could play the E, but it's outside of the key of D flat major. Heck, so is A and B, but all right, for all intents and purposes, play what sounds right to you. You can do something like that, very simple. All right, and then once you're here, you know, they're doing the announcements or whatever, and you're moving on to something else. So the transition chord is a pivot chord. Again, just to reiterate, this is our first pivot chord over the one, all right? And then we could move second pivot chord or Okay, and then our third pivot chord is this, the A to get to, to the D flat. So now that we're here, so we can pivot out of there too. You know, they're doing the announcements and you could, uh, and you could do something like that. Um, something like that. What I'm doing basically is moving from, uh, here, the pivot, first pivot chord would be that uh, D diminished. And it's a cool reason why that actually works because the more I play, the more I find out everything is just two, five, one, or some kind of relation to the two, five, one chord. So, but I'm not gonna get into that now, but I just wanna show you, all right? Uh, we can do, okay. And we do this uh, diminished chord here. And then we do the F minor. And then do something like, okay, we can move like that. All those diminished chords want to resolve someplace. This is the thing about diminished chord, it always wants to move forward. So we're moving for, further with the service. The announcements are gonna be for a little while, so they may talk for two minutes, five minutes, whatever, but we wanna push forward. Not shove and, you know, direct the service. But being that the service is just coming out of worship mode, but we have our pivot chords where we move around with that. Um, but I'll back up a tad. There's some other things that we can do too. So now we're here, all right? We have the, we're on, you know, that one. 
And then when, once we move up, right? This is the first movement of our, this is the second pivot chord here. The first one is this, all right? And now we're moving up. Um, and then we do this with here. And now to pivot out of that, okay? This here is your Lydian, G flat Lydian, okay? Uh, right, is it G flat Lydian? Yeah, it is G flat Lydian. Yeah, one, two, three, four, G flat Lydian. So now we're here, this is our second pivot chord. So we're here. So we're acting as though, you know, they want to keep going, but we want to move. We don't want to stay here with all the tension kind of suspended. Somebody may just, people just may start worshiping and just going even further, you know, with that. And then now, just before the announcements, you know, no announcements, not yet. Let's just say they didn't go there. All right. All right. And you can do several things. Uh, um, you can do that here. I'll show you that. So now, when we when you're walking up, right? You're walking backwards. You're actually going back now. So, a D flat. And we have this. Oh, the G flat. I'm gonna play the bass for you, bass with. I'm gonna play the bass for you because I want to spell out everything, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. You can see the structure of it, what the bass is, and what my right hand is doing. So we have this here, okay. And then uh, once you move from here. Uh, you can do uh, your this. Basically, this is the chord. Uh, yeah, it's a, a minor seven flat five or a half diminished. All right. Um, uh, yeah, we can do. I meant it. Well, we can do either this or this diminished chord, and then we can walk up again if we wanted to to that other pivot chord, and then keep running that. So again, first pivot, the pivot chord for there is a diminished chord. Okay, that is what gets you to move forward. Move forward, all right? And then we do the last one. We can uh, this, uh, make this a five chord for G flat or, and just resolve it like so. But pay, I'm just kind of coming up with these on the spot, but just pay attention to your melody to where you're going. Always think of what we're trying to go to, what chord progression you're trying to use as the pivot chord. A pivot chord is basically a chord progression. So keep in mind whether the service is excited, whether people are calm, whether people are speaking. You know, you want to push them forward, but not too much. And we also did the uh, minor thirds. Well, the minor thirds and major third, the melodic minor uh, for uh, G flat. All right. So, all right. Or you can do that same thing. And just keep it, you know, in G and D flat. All right. I hope that's helped you. Check out Gospel progressionuniversity.com forward slash Gospel Keys Pro. You can download my free guide. It's called What Do Pro Musicians Know That You Don't. God bless you, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs>